Hello my dear students, take my heart. Welcome to another tutorial. Today the topic is class 1 elementary mathematics chapter 8 concept of subtraction. And in this tutorial or in this video we will try to solve all the questions which is mentioned in page number 47. So let's try to do the class. Dear students, you can see the questions which is mentioned in page number 47. Here you can see Two types of questions in this tutorial we will try to solve both of them but before that you know that in my earlier lectures i was mentioned that whenever you will try to solve any types of questions or any types of maths first of all you should read the math or you should read the questions again and again so that you can collect the data very strongly so in question number one we can see that the order written that Ali had 10 papers. He gave 4 of them to his sister and 5 of them to his brother. Now question to you that how many papers were left with his? The students, as I mentioned that from this question you should collect data. You can see that the data are here 10 papers, 4 papers and 5 papers. But what is the function hidden in this question? You can see that first of all, Ali had 10 papers, but he gave 4 papers and also 5 papers. So whenever you will try to give something to you anyone, the number of papers will decrease from you. So first of all, you should notice that how many papers you are giving so how can you solve this question let's go to the board and try to solve question number one the students it is solution of question number one in the first line you should write that ali gave to his sister four papers and then he also gave to his brother five papers so now you are trying to notice that how much papers he is given so that's why in this first part of this math you should apply the concept of addition so do you know that 4 plus 5 is equal to what in the final line of this part you should write that all together he gave nine papers can you guess that how can you find this nine you know that 5 plus 4 is equal 9 and that's why we write a 9 here now we will try to solve the next part of this math in the next part, we should write that Ali had 10 papers and it is mentioned in the question. And then you should write that all together he gave 9 papers. So this line was written here from this line. So all together he gave 9 papers and there you can also see that all together he gave 9 papers. Now we will try to add or we will try to give the concept of subtraction so that we can find what will be the subtraction 10 minus 9 you know that 10 minus 9 is equal to 1 so the answer of this question will be like that then he had one papers how can you find that you know that 0 minus 9 is not possible so you can write a 1 as a carry bit here so 10 minus 9 is equal to 1 and that one will be on here so 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 so ultimately the answer of this question will be 1 so don't forget to write an answer whenever you will try to solve any types of questions so the answer of this question will be one papers dear students i hope you all were able to understand this question now we will try to solve question number two but before that let's go to the page and try to see what was the question of question number two dear students you can see it is question number two and it's the page for 47 now we can see that in question number two the author mentioned that shanti had 10 biscuits she add two of them and gave four of them to her sister how many biscuits were left with her the students you know that as earlier i mentioned that whenever you will try to solve any types of questions First of all, you should collect the data from 
that particular question. So, in this question, we can see that first of all, Shanti had 10 biscuits. But after that, she adds two of them and she gave four of them. So, whenever you will add or you will eat or give any biscuits, the number of biscuits will be decreased from the total amount of biscuits. So, first of all, or in the first part of this question, you should notice that how many biscuits will decrease from the total amount of biscuits. That means you should understand that how many biscuits will you lose. So, in this question, like the first one, you should you should distribute this question in two parts. First of all, you should apply the concept of addition and in the next part, you should apply the concept of subtraction. So now we will try to solve this question. So how can you solve this question or how can you customize or summarize this question? So let's go to the board and try to see what will be the answer of this question. The students, you can see it is the solution of question number two in the first line you should write that shanti add two biscuits and then she gave four biscuits so now we are trying to find the total amount of biscuits which will be decreased from the total amount of biscuits so now that's why we are applying the concept of addition so do you know that two plus four is equal to what it's very easy that 4 plus 2 or 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. So, in this line, you should write the total he lost or total is equal 6 biscuits. And then you should write that Shanti had 10 biscuits and she totally lost. That means that totally she lost 6 biscuits. And as earlier, I mentioned that because this part is the concept of subtraction now you are trying to see the losting numbers from the total amount of biscuits and that's why you should apply the concept of subtraction here so now in this final line you should write that then she had four biscuits the students can you guess that how can you find this four you can see in your right hand side column or your or in your right column you can see that in this upper class you can see a 0 and a 6 so 0 minus 6 is not possible so that's why you should write a 1 as a carry bit in your left hand side so 10 minus 4 is equal 4 and these 1 will be here so 1 minus 1 is equal 0 so finally we can see that or finally we can say that then she had 4 biscuits so as earlier I mentioned that whenever you will solve any types of questions or any types of maths, you should write an answer at the last of that question. So the answer of this question will be four biscuits. Dear students, I hope you all were able to understand this question number two. So what we have done? We firstly we read the questions again and again so that we can collect data from that question. And then we were imagine that how can you solve this question so that's why we were distribute this math in two parts in the first part we were apply the concept of addition and in the next part we were apply the concept of subtraction but the students don't forget that you can solve this question in another types of way so that's not the reason that how can we solve this question so it's a process that how can you easily solve this question so i hope you all were able to understand these questions but yet if you have any types of doubts any types of questions or any types of problems you can write me on the comment box below this video i will try to solve all the doubts which you have i will try to solve all the problems which you have and I will try to clear all the questions which you have. So, in the next video, we will try to solve another types of questions, another types of maths. So, thank you very much everyone for seeing this class.